We all know that buying and sewing are two different sports. In this video, I'm going to give you two great ideas of finally flipping all the thrifts that you bought. <laughs> it moves so much. It's a perfect square. The first item we're going to do is this jumper. I'm going to put some pictures in here of a designer I follow on Instagram. She gave me a lot of ideas on how to thrift flip this. I have this uh, older uh, Uniqlo um, jumper, similar to this one. I love, I love these jumpers because they are merino wool and merino wool is one of my favorite things to wear on my skin. Anyway. Um, I've used it many times and now I think the sewing machine, the washing machine, decided to eat it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to use part of the jumper that is still good and uh, we're going to make this jumper far more interesting with some of this fabric. So in here, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to still reuse the ribbons. I'm reusing the waist ribbon and the arm ribbons. But what I want to do is draw some kind of wavy um, shape in between the sleeves and the body and cut it off and use it as a pattern to cut this other fabric and put it on the nest. So I am placing the red one on top of the grey one because I want to keep some of this shoulder, some of the sleeve and some of the shoulder. But because the hole is here, I'm trying to mark it so I don't cut from the grey too much below. I need to cut it above it. So now from here, I know I can use all of this sleeve and this part here. So I'm going to go and draw what I want to do. So I'm just going to draw more or less the line here. I'm gonna go like that. I'm gonna have to like wave effect like that. I don't think you can see, but I can. And then from here, the same. I'm gonna have like a wave kind of. I want to use the cuff again. So basically, this is the piece. This piece in the middle is the one piece I need to take off from this jumper. So I'm gonna use this as a pattern. I'm giving myself about a centimeter to put underneath the gray jumper when I'm stitching. I'm going to pin this new red piece to my grey piece, my grey jumper. Okay, so now all I need to do is to stitch this grey one to the jumper. I'm going to top stitch on just as it is. So I'm going to bring this jumper underneath it without stretching too much like this and I'm gonna top stitch two jumpers together you 
making sure that I'm not picking the back of the jumper or the front of the jumper I'm just picking one layer of the jumper right Okay, so I stitched the top and now I just pinned the bottom. I'm not gonna lie, this fabric moves a lot more than this one does. So it was a little bit difficult to pin it all up, but I've got it all pinned up. I'm just gonna stitch all around and, uh, and uh, but so far, <laughs> I really like how it looks. Okay, I stitched the bottom to the jumper and now all I need to do is the sleeve. So we're going to pin this now and do the sleeve. I'll catch you at the end. Well, and here it is. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think I need to do like a zigzag stitch so it won't come and rubble here. Uh, also, I did <laughs> use a pen and I can't take it out. So that's another mistake I made. But um, things I've learned is that it was very difficult to go around the whole sleeve because it's so narrow on the machine. So maybe next time I could open the sleeve and um, sew it flat, it'll be easier. I hope you enjoy it. It's been an experiment that I'm definitely going to repeat. So this is the toad I'm working with. It's, uh, it has like a really nice patina. It's a module um, pieces. So I can actually fold it. And if you look at this line here, it's perfect to actually make the bottom of the bag. And uh, it's nice, but it's a tote, so I'm going to make it into a handbag. The nice thing is that it's already fully lined and it has a zipper. So I'm going to try to take all of this off and I'm going to make it into a, to a, a bag, but also attach some clips here so I can wear um, across the shoulder as well. Okay, so this is the bottom of the tote bag. Um, what I'm planning to do is to stitch it just following the line. <laughs> it moves so much. Okay, so basically following this line to make a bottom like this. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, so basically stitch this line down. Let's see if I fold it like this. It moves so much. Okay, there. So if I stitch these two sizes like this from inside, then I have a nice button of my bag. See? Can you see? It will look so much better like that. Look at how shiny this is. <laughs> So this is a super easy DIY to convert any toad that you have, really. This one just happens to be this modulo. Um, I know it's a copy, I think, of a Japanese designer. I think it might be that. Anyway, that's what I'm going to try to do. I turn it around. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find the, <laughs> the seam again and uh, open this here first so I can stitch it and close it back up again. Okay, so I opened the the lining. It has like a, a tape, like a bias tape to go around. I opened it and I can I now access the outside fabric. Um, you can see how it moves. So to go and make a, a, a bottom, I need to go across in perpendicular to the seam, the side seam. So what I need to do is very carefully stitch around this fabric here a couple of times and then I'm going to try to see if I could rescue as much of this fabric as possible because it will be nice to make something with it. So I'm going to open the other corner and stitch both um, at the same size so the bottom is equal in both sides. <laughs> I 
I decided to remove the whole tape that was on the seams around the lining and uh, I finished sewing the lining as you can see the bottom here okay so how I do the bias tape is you fold the uh, edge of the tape put it to the edge that you want to sew and then fold it on itself and then I just put a pin on it and then carry on the same thing goes just fold it over the seam that you want to cover and then when you get to the end do the same thing fold it and then fold it over the seam that you want to cover like that okay that's it and now stitch it and then do the rest okay done and now we're gonna turn this around let's hope it's not difficult okay that was a fight to turn around with these uh, uh, pieces moving the way it does um, I think I stitched a little bit of yeah I got it in here a little bit but I'm gonna put something inside so you can actually see how it looks like so this is it I'm really happy how it turns out I did the bottom um, I lined it what well, you saw what I did and I put the extra um, hooks here so I can actually use it as a, a crossbody I really enjoyed this uh, um, project. I think that was a really nice project. Uh, an easy upcycle. Uh, you get a tote bag and you can make yourself a handbag. In this, in this, uh, in this case, it's a crossbody bag.